Hey everybody, it's Brian again. Uh, this is our second C++ tutorial. As you can see, we have Visual Studio open. Uh, like I said, if you don't have Visual Studio, don't freak out. There's a ton of them out there. You can even go to microsoft.com slash express and download the C++ express version. Um, I'm just using Visual Studio because I didn't want to install a bunch of crap on my computer. Now I'm just going to start typing a C++ program. And you don't really have to type along, you just follow. Um, and if you've learned Java, this might look pretty familiar, actually. System pause. Now, you might be asking, what does all this stuff do? What is he doing? I don't understand. Hmm. Well, let's go over this real quick. As you can see, I've got one file in here called main.cpp. The CPP stands for C++. This is a source file. The include is a preprocessor directive. What does that mean? It means, hold on, my cat's begging for my attention. Go away, kitty. It means this is processed before it's compiled. See, it's a multi-stage process. First, it's compiled to what are called object files. Then it's linked into the executable or binary. So the include will literally include this file. There's a file somewhere called iostream. File or library, I should say. So all the code in the iostream is then included in here. Then we've got int main, and if you've done Java or C Sharp, you should recognize that that is our starting function. It always starts here. That is the main entry point of the application. It will always start there. System pause. Um, system is a very powerful command. Um, you can do just about anything with system. If you pause, it'll keep the little DOS window that appears. Go away, kitty. Sorry about that. My cat is just super annoying today. It'll keep the DOS window that appears uh, open. Otherwise, it'll just close instantly. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. And by the way, these little slashes, two slashes, that's a comment. So when we run this, you see compile, linking, embedding, etc., etc. You know, you didn't see it because it opened and closed super fast. You have to have some way of keeping that window open. So on Windows, you just do system pause. Uh oh, errors. Syntax error missing before. Yes, we forgot the semicolon at the end. That's a good point. If you forget the semicolon at the end of your line, it will raise an error. Now. Notice we're turning zero. Um, that's just an exit code. I'll get into that in another tutorial, but for now you should just know that's the basics of a C++ program. You see it says press any key to continue. That's the system pause. So let's say we wanted to uh, just print out a simple line of text. We have a namespace called STD, which is short for standard and then two colons which will give you access to that namespace and then we want C out Oops. so that's namespace object and then we are going to shift and we're going to say hello world this is our obligatory hello world application here Now, what does this do? STD, or standard, for the standard type library. And then we're calling C out, which is in the STD namespace. And then we're shifting these characters into C out. And then we are shifting end L. What is end L? End L stands for end lines. We're just putting a hard return at the end. So when we run this, you'll see hello world, press any key to continue. Now, let's go into the output here. Um, you can see exited with code and then there's an exit code. That's a standard Windows code. Um, it's not really important that you know these codes. You should just understand that um, your program is not standalone. It requires all these DLLs. You see these DLLs are loaded in memory many of these DLLs will come standard but you should know that your program is dependent on external libraries the standard library SDD 
is included in all instances of C++. So that's it for today. We're going to keep this tutorial a little bit short. Um, just know that uh, you should understand what the preprocessor directive is. We're including the IO stream. IO stream is an external library, part of the standard type library, which contains C out. C out lets you print things out on the screen and you learn what system pause does. So that's it for this tutorial. I don't want to over inundate you with too much. C++ is an incredibly complex language and it does have a very steep learning curve. So just get comfortable with printing things out on the screen.